Hello, Jermaine here, and welcome to the second um, of the video series where we're looking at um, building a bookmark manager using Angular Dart. So um, in the last video where we left off with was essentially we built our um, scaffolding um, component, which um, took a list of bookmarks, a predefined list of bookmarks, and we rendered it on the screen. From this, we added the capability um, essentially to delete our bookmarks. So um, in this video, um, we're going to add the capabilities to um, be able to add bookmarks and also be able to edit those bookmarks. So we're going to start by adding an edit form to um, essentially enable us to edit the information we have here. So what I'll do is I'll start by reverting this uh, delete button to an edit button and then I'll set the class to warning and then on click we want to edit our bookmark. So that's the first thing we'll do. This will throw an error because we don't have this uh, method defined yet. So I'll just show you that error. Yep, the method edit bookmark isn't defined. So let's um, do that now. We'll come back to our component and then we'll add an edit bookmark method. And what we'll do here is essentially add a flag for each of these items. This flag is called edit. So by default, they're set to false. And then in edit bookmark, we will set the edit key to true. So that's what we'll do here in this component. And I need to pass in our index there like that. And then we'll come back to our component template. And then I will use an ng if here. So it'll be ng if this bookmarks edit key is set to false. So let's save this, take a look. So if the bookmarks edit key is set to false, then we'll see this. If it's set to true, then of course we shouldn't see anything displayed. Okay, so I'll use the shorthand of that and then we essentially create another card body. And then if our bookmarks edit mode is set to true, if it evaluates, if this expression evaluates to true, then we want to show our edit form. So let's see what that looks like. If I click edit, it should show our edit form. Yeah, and of course, um, we'll be able to revert that shortly. So in here is where we'll begin to build out our form. So we'll start with a form. We don't need an action for it. Uh, let's add no validate um, to disable HTML5 based validation because we use Angular to handle that. Then creating a form group, which takes a label called title and then it takes an input text field with the ID set to the inform title and we'll set the four of our label to that. And then what we need to do is to replicate this for our description. We'll use a text area for that. We'll call it description ID DM form description. So our labels for attribute to be informed description and let's simplify this and lastly what we need to add is our url and we need to add a name for our title field and let's save this and let's give it a go so if i click edit it should show our form so now we need to add the right classes to get the style we want from control and let's take a look yeah that looks much better okay and then then we need to add our various buttons for updating it and then we'll add a button to cancel and then we'll have a button to delete Okay, let's save this and see what it looks like. And yeah, there we go. Let's add the functionality now for our buttons. So for the delete, what we can do is um, attach a click event and then we will call our remove bookmark function and then pass our index. So if I save this and let's try and delete, should remove it. Okay, uh, for cancel, We'll add a click event and in here we'll just do bookmark, we'll set edit mode to false and let's see how that works. So if I click edit, click cancel, it just reverts back here. So now we need the actual functionality that would 
implement our update and in order to do that we need to import a set of directives that angular has for dealing with forms so we'll go back to our scaffolding component and then at the top we're going to import angular forms and then from there we will update our list of directives to use form directives which now allows us to come back here and then um, we use um, two-way binding essentially so angular forms gives us a couple of directives for working with form controls so um, one of them is um, ng model and the way that works is that we would um, wrap it um, in this style which essentially enables two-way binding so what we'll do is uh, we pass it an expression such as our um, bookmarks title and um, which means that any updates we make to this input field will update the title of our bookmark and any updates that are made to the bookmark model um, of course trans transfers here so um, just to show what that looks like if i save this and then i click on edit we should see the you should see the title value uh, populated in our form because of this two-way binding syntax we're using and of course any changes we make will update it so let's do that for the rest or in fact let's not yet do that for the rest because um, you can see immediately there that we have a problem when i clicked on edit and i made my change I didn't click update because it's not implemented update yet. I clicked on cancel and the change still persisted. So essentially what we need to be doing is we need to be modifying a copy um, of our bookmark and then we persist our changes um, to the actual um, bookmark item, which we'll do shortly. But for now, let's just populate the rest of our fields. So here we want the description and then here we want the url so if i save this and then i click on here it populates all the fields here will be a good point to refactor um, the way we are representing our bookmarks at the moment um, our bookmarks are just a list of map objects with uh, key value pairs um, ideally it'd be a good idea to have um, our bookmarks in uh, model classes so at least we can um, have an interface that defines the exact structure uh, we want whereby um, these keys would be um, instance variables so in our lib folder in the source directory i'm going to create a new folder here and i'll call it model and in the I'll create a new file and I'll create bookmark.dart which um, represents our model. So this would be a class called bookmark and then um, it has a constructor which will take a couple of named parameters. So it will take a title, take a description, it will take a URL and then it will take the edit status and then we need to define these here so our title is a string our description is also a string um, of course same as the url and then our edit status is a boolean so let me save this and then i'm going to come back to our component dart file and then let's import it in here i'll go back one folder go to model and pull in our bookmark so let's um, refactor this to use our bookmark class. Okay, and once that's done, we will go to our template and fix that as well. But let's do this one quickly. So we set edit to true. And then let's go to our template and fix all our instances of bookmark in here. So we start with these ones and we're scrolling further down and let's save this I think we should be good 
let's look at the console okay the get a book Ma. oh i made a typo okay there okay we succeeded and let me reload the screen okay so if i click on edit everything shows okay cool click on cancel it will bring me back here so what we want to do is when we click on edit we want to make a copy of our bookmark and then edit that so we'll call it bookmark and we'll call it edited bookmark and then we will essentially assign our edited bookmark well, in our edited bookmark we'll create a new instance of bookmark and then we'll set our details to the bookmark we're editing so bookmarks next title essentially so let's do the same for our description our url and then what we want to do is we'll come back to our template and then for our form we want our engine model to bind to edited bookmark and then when we click this button we want to invoke a method called update bookmark then we'll pass in the index we wish to update let's save this and we'll get an error because we've not defined this method yet so let's go do that now the bookmark have an index and then we'll proceed to update the particular bookmark we made the changes on so we'll set our title to essentially edited bookmark the title and let's do the same for the rest of our fields okay so we update all our fields and then we revert the edit status to false so let's see what that looks like um, it should be successful now if i click on edit uh, some random bits of text i click on update it persists it if i click on edit and I click on cancel nothing happens I can still visit the website I should still be able to delete it but at a period then I click cancel it doesn't persist and then I click update and it persists okay that's good the last thing I'm going to do um, in this video is to add the ability to um, create a new bookmark. So what we'll do is um, we essentially have a method called add bookmark. And what that will do is it will add, we'll add a new bookmark. to our list so we'll have a title essentially we'll have the fields empty title empty description empty url and edit will be set to true and then we will go to our template and we'll have a new row and we'll have a column and then we'll have a button with a click event and we'll add our bookmark and we'll give this a couple of bootstrap classes and the text in there would be add a bookmark so if i go ahead and click this button it gives us an new field to add our bookmark and i can remove it if 
I add a bookmark and then I'm able to update and the update is not working because we need to fix up our logic a little bit so I'm gonna come back here to component dot dot and then what I'm gonna do is in fact let's let's go to our model bookmark dot dot and let's add some default values in here so our title by default will be an empty string our description URL will also be empty and the default edit is our edit is set to true and then once I save that I'll come back here and we should be able to simplify this a lot more that way check my console to see everything is fine okay so effectively what we want to do is to assign our instance to a variable so I'll call it BM and then I'll pass that in here and then I will set that to edited bookmark which will be a bookmark instance taken in a title and we do the same for our description and URL instance variables and let's save this and try it in the browser so if I add a new bookmark and um, add that and click update there we go it should be added and if I click edit I should be able to delete okay so this brings me to the end of the video and i hope you enjoyed um, the content that was presented here um, don't forget to comment down below let me know what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see next um, i do read um, comments and try to respond to them whenever i can um, also do subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button so that you are notified when new content is released. And also I'm excited to announce that I have a new course, my first course um, launched on Egghead io um, it's free to watch um, the link should appear on your, on the screen and also the link is down below in the comments. So um, don't forget to like, um, don't forget to read, follow and subscribe. Thank you.